ZimApex supports an expert configuration mode that allows additional customization beyond the normal configuration experience. This mode is not recommended for most users, especially those settings that change aiming behavior so it's no longer one-to-one. -one. To enable expert mode, go to Global Settings and select Enable Expert Configuration. You'll see the user interface change. Response rate is a setting that is covered in a different video. Press Save and go back to the HUD. Select Edit. Like in normal configuration mode, this is where you can change the name of the config, its color, and load key. Press the Expand button to reveal more options. Here you can disable notification lights and set a push to talk key. You can also copy your entire config and share it with others. When you copy a config, it is encoded into a text format and copied to the clipboard, so you can send it to others through mail or a post on a forum. Use the paste button to apply a config from your clipboard. Swipe over to the next section. In expert mode, you can configure up to six independent sets of aiming and button mapping behavior that's activated using a key. These are called subconfigs. The first two subconfigs are reserved for hip fire and aim down sight, or ADS. The rest can be used for such purposes as additional customization for vehicles or turrets. Notice how ADS is configured so that it's activated when the game's ADS key is pressed. Looking back at the HUD, notice how aim down sight is activated when the ADS activate key is pressed. If you set up additional subconfigs, their names will show up here when activated as well. Your Zim Apex will flash the color of the subconfig when it's activated. The color used is shown at the top of the subconfig when you edit it. Yellow for hip, green for ADS, and so on. If you expand the activation section, you'll see all its options. Few games, like Call of Duty, have a transition delay in the game as it switches from hip to ADS. Delay is used to wait for a specified amount of time before the subconfig should be activated. If you're using a delay, Smooth Aim Transition controls whether the switch from hip to ADS should happen gradually over the time delay, or if it should occur immediately after the time delay expires. This is a preference and subtle. Since, in Call of Duty, different weapons have slightly different ADS transition delays, using Smooth Aim Transition helps with these variances. A subconfig is automatically deactivated when you release the activation key, or, if you are using the toggle option, when you press the activation key again. A set of deactivation keys are also provided to give you additional keys to deactivate the ADS subconfig and return to HIP. This feature can also be used to achieve toggle ADS behavior in a game that doesn't support it. Zim Apex supports advanced settings to change how your aim feels. All settings beyond sensitivity will cause your aim to no longer be one-to-one. -one. For this reason, it's not advised to use them. But, if you prefer your mouse movement to not correspond one-to-one -to, -one to the reticle on screen, then press the expand button to see the settings. The settings that have the greatest impact to one-to-one -to -one aim are ballistics, YX ratio, and boost. YX ratio changes your vertical aim sensitivity. For example, if you set it to 0.5, then your vertical aim sensitivity will be half of your horizontal. Boost artificially bypasses the low velocity response area of the aiming system. Increasing this will reduce the amount of micro-aim response while making the game increasingly twitchy. Ballistic curves enable users to transform Zim Apex's one-to-one -one translation response to anything they want. To access it, open the ballistics editor. The horizontal axis represents your mouse velocity, and the vertical axis represents the velocity of the game's reticle. Left side is zero movement, and right is maximum turn speed of the game. By default, the curve is a diagonal line, which means it is a linear one-to-one -one response. If you'd prefer linear aim at lower velocities, but have your aim accelerate at higher, you would adjust the right portion of the curve. The type of customization you can achieve through curves is endless. To share a curve, use the copy button which creates a text version of it in your clipboard. 
You can send it via an email or post it to a form. Use the paste button to apply a curve that's in your clipboard. Finally, use the clear button to reset your curve back to linear. Other advanced aim settings include smoothing, which is used to smooth jitter from high DPI mice or shaky hands. Turn assist makes your mouse act like a joystick. While active, your mouse movement will accumulate until it's deactivated. This is useful for low turn speed situations like vehicles or turrets. Use invert vertical to inverse your mouse vertical movement. Left stick is used to map your mouse to the left stick of the gamepad instead of the right. Finally, it is possible to change which translator you'd like to use in your subconfig. As HIP and ADS translators are designed for those specific modes, it's ill-advised to change this. To change how your player moves in-game, you can map directional keys such as the standard WADS mapping. Expanding the settings reveals ways to map a walk modifier, which slows movement. You can also map the right stick as well. The mouse is normally bound to the right stick, but there are cases where you may want to do this. For example, it's possible to map buttons to make it faster to turn. This is useful for games with lower turn speeds or for vehicles and turrets. Action mappings are the same as they are in non-expert configuration, except in expert you get access to a second set of action mappings. Press the expand button to choose between primary and secondary mappings. The last section is analog mappings. Prior to this, except for the mouse, all mappings have been digital. This section allows you to make joystick analog access mappings. Expanding advanced settings exposes additional mappings for triggers and adjusting dead zones. Notice how, by default, there are no mappings for triggers. This is because there is already a digital mapping. If you prefer to switch to analog triggers, set them here and clear them under actions. To enable additional subconfigs, navigate to one of them and select Enabled. You can rename the subconfig and set all settings as previously described. By default, most of the settings of a subconfig are inherited from the HIP subconfig. If you want to specify mappings that are different than HIP, uncheck Inherit. When you are done editing your config, remember to save it.